do you want love in your life do you expect your spouse to understand and fix all of your problems do you want to know how to get rid of fear using your subconscious mind why do some people succeed and others fail isn't it strange how bill gates and mark zuckerberg became so wealthy and successful at such a young age do you want to learn how scientists make use of their subconscious minds to find out the answers to all of these questions you should watch this video dr joseph murphy's book the power of subconscious mind is summarized here in this book joseph murphy states if we pray with all our hearts our prayers will always work but why don't all prayers succeed all the time because we don't concentrate on one thing with all of our hearts and minds also you are not using the proper technique your prayers provide solutions to your questions about your faith in yourself your prayers are in response to your mental image or mental thoughts your desire is a prayer there will be magic in your life if you understand the subconscious mind and if we understand how our subconscious mind works this miracle can happen to everyone subconscious mind has as much powers as you can't imagine in your dream have you ever had a question why does a person succeed and why does someone fail why is a person very rich and why is someone very poor why is one in good health and why is someone often very sick let's understand in detail the real powers of our subconscious mind you have a massive treasure concealed within you you only need to open your eyes you should know that if we magnetize an iron rod it can lift 10 times its own weight and if we take the magnetic power out of iron it will not be able to raise as much weight this happened to us as well non magnetic people doubt themselves and carry their own load but magnetized people are confident and the solution to this dilemma can be found in your powerful subconscious mind our subconscious mind is so powerful that if you truly desire to be the richest and most successful person on the planet your subconscious mind will begin to pave the way for you everyone thinks what is subconscious mind your question is right subconscious mind is our unconscious mind that controls your breathing heartbeat blood circulation and all unconscious actions so the thing to think about is if your subconscious mind can keep you alive it can also fulfill the desire of your mind speaking in simple language you set your goal first it can be anything even being the richest or the biggest businessman in the world So if you understand the technique of sending the message to your subconscious mind then you will not work hard your subconscious mind has control over your body and can also influence your actions as a result your subconscious mind will force you to work many individuals will tell you to listen to the voice of your heart making your subconscious mind your friend means becoming the best doctor engineer businessman investor or whatever you choose is not it strange how bill gates and mark zuckerberg became so wealthy and successful at such a young age we guarantee that if you watch this movie all the way through you will become an expert at directing your subconscious mind Imagine that you can simply complete whatever you type on paper using the skills of your subconscious mind using the powers of the subconscious mind you can easily crack even the hardest exam 
द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड विल इंक्रीज बोथ योर फोकस एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी इफ वी डिवाइड द माइंड इन टू टू पार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इट्स नेम विल बी कॉन्शियस माइंड एंड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड कॉन्शियस माइंड इज यूर लॉजिकल ब्रेन दैट वर्क शोन अंडरस्टैंडिंग यूर कॉन्शियस माइंड इज अंडर यूर कंट्रोल एंड यूर सबकॉन्शियस माइंड कंट्रोल्स यूर सडन एक्शंस दैट यू कॉन्ट कंट्रोल द कॉन्शियस माइंड हैज टेन परसेंट ऑफ यूर ब्रेन्स पावर वाइल द सबकॉन्शियस माइंड हैज नाइंटी परसेंट एंड दिस इज वेयर पीपल गो रोंग टॉप परफॉर्मर्स और दोज हु आर एक्सट्रीमली सक्सेसफुल एम्प्लॉय बोथ द कॉन्शियस एंड सबकॉन्शियस माइंड दैट इज कंप्लीटली those who are unsuccessful in their studies and careers rely solely on their conscious thoughts that is barely 10% as a result they fail how does your mind work conscious mind takes information from our five senses and makes decision based on that information however the subconscious mind does not make any decisions it acts by following the conscious mind's beliefs experiences and past practices your subconscious mind is very sensitive if you give suggestions to it you can understand this concept like this if subconscious mind is a very big ship then your conscious mind is the captain which gives orders of where to go to your conscious mind filters all the wrong information with logic and reasoning and the same information goes to our subconscious mind once upon a time a very talented woman had a competition she was terrified about taking the stage and she had previously failed due to stage fright so she used positive affirmations to tell herself i am the best singer and i intend to offer my finest performance on stage and so on the women told herself over and over as a result the women won first place in the tournament you are never questioned by your subconscious mind and it offers answers to all of your questions your habitual thinking refers to what you think on a daily basis this neural pattern is preserved in your subconscious mind as a result you won't be able to form any habits so readily think of positive things before going to bed for 5 minutes we are going to tell you its complete working process with which you can program yourself in a day Just as you design characters in mobile games, you can design new characters for yourself. When there is a good interaction between the conscious mind and subconscious mind, then you can use your full potential. And if we learn to perfectly use both conscious and subconscious mind together, you can get whatever you want. However, if you want to succeed at a task you must devote both time and effort to it let us explain in layman's terms in our life there are two kinds of universes there is an inner world and an outer world the inner world is what we think about all hours of the day and night in our minds a battle rages on we think differently and act differently We are sure you have noticed that when a new music is released you listen to it over and over and that tune will stay with you for many days you begin to hum that melody this is the world within and the second is the outer world outer world come from your friends family school Many people react by looking at outer world why does it happen to me why didn't i get the promotion 
I am destined for a bad luck and much more. Those who understand their inner world and outer world and control by themselves are successful in life. They are on seven skies. They are the rulers of their own life. Our subconscious mind is capable of performing numerous marvels for us. We work from daylight to night and then recover and sleep when we get home. But hold on, is your subconscious mind sleeping? Your subconscious mind does not sleep. It is available to you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Your heart keeps you alive by beating. Our subconscious mind can be understood by our soul. It is independent of time and space. It has the power to end all of your sorrow and pain right now. Here is a simple real world example. We have all heard of hypnosis and how professionals can effortlessly hypnotize anyone. Do you know that by controlling the subconscious mind of our brain, experts can make roasters, martial artists and anything else. Through hypnotism, experts can easily play with anyone's subconscious mind and by controlling them, they earn millions of rupees in stage performances. Now we will know whether our subconscious mind can cure our disease Yes, of course, it can. Recently, according to a report, the world's best doctors and advanced treatment failed. And yet, this miracle was possible. But what was that miracle recovery? There was a very wealthy man whose plane had crashed and nearly all of his bones were fractured. And all of the doctors had given up hope that he could ever recover. Many physicians predicted that he would live for few days. But that person had made a firm decision in his mind that he would be totally well by Christmas. That person did not listen to anyone and just kept spinning himself a story. I used to visualize him going out of the hospital on his legs on Christmas day. That man held that optimistic thought in his mind for eight months. In his subconscious mind, full positive thoughts and positive vision was clear. So the man walked on his own legs on Christmas day. A man whose 103 bones had broken walked on his own legs only in eight months. This is the power of the subconscious mind. Now we will learn how you can send the desired message to your subconscious mind which will make you successful in life. You must have heard that any powerful thing has some weakness. And if we know that you can hack our mind like computer hacking and get desired results. Before going to bed at night and after waking up in the morning, you can send your message to this mystical subconscious mind. We have all heard that before going to sleep and after waking up, do you know what happens in our brain that causes the message to flow straight to your subconscious level? The last five minutes before you go to sleep are critical because your subconscious mind is 95% active in the last five minutes but it is just 75 percent active during the day such in the last five minutes we must code our brain such that you can control everything write your message on a paper and then record it on your phone and after doing this you put it on repeated mode as soon as you put your phone on repeat mode you have to keep the phone aside and do 10 times deep breathing. This will completely calm your mind and will make you sleepy. And as soon as you start falling asleep, start listening your recorded message, 
from your earphones and feel fully relaxed listening to the recording you have to deeply visualize your message and this has to be done until you fall asleep and the next day you will notice that the message you put in for the last 5 minutes last night is still playing in your head all day many individuals wonder why you need to visualize what occurs when you visualize our subconscious mind can only grasp emotional language and it does not get the reasoning as a result your subconscious mind cannot discriminate between what you see and visualize because your subconscious mind does not interrogate you the conscious mind is in charge of asking inquiries as a result your subconscious mind has no idea what is true and what is falsehood your subconscious mind is like a child in that it will do whatever you tell it to do how ancient people used to do mental healing and used to recover very quickly ancient people believe very much in the three step formula that formula is ask believe and receive that is ask what you want to ask for believe that you have got it that is feel like you have got it and in the near future you will have that thing you will think how simple it is ask believe it and then you will get it we already told you about the miraculous man who survived the plane disaster the same manner that man exploited his subconscious mind so does this three step technique you must concentrate on a single notion and visualize it this will not happen overnight what you wish to be fulfilled cannot be fulfilled unless you transmit it to your subconscious mind we will now learn about a new mental healing approach in los angeles there was a woman in addition she had coronary thrombosis she did not wish to die as a result she prayed wherever i am all of my mother's prayers are within me my mom is present and i can never get sick as long as my mom is with me as the woman's body was it was a reflection of her thoughts the woman said i know that if i can change my thoughts my health will automatically start to improve and after few weeks the woman recovered and she recovered as if she had never had any disease if you consider your mother to be god so your mother is god for your subconscious mind who can remove all your problems we feel complete when close to our mother and you can build your beliefs in the same way you have probably heard about aura cleansing if you haven't already read this carefully aura cleaning is a method that purges all of your negative emotions simply by praying and waving your hand about your body aura cleaning therapist are also available for appointments and use acupressure and sophisticated approaches to relieve the pains of all clients a practical strategy for mental recovery if we accept our wish from the conscious mind which is rational our conscious mind communicates our request to the subconscious mind and as much as you say in your conscious mind such as i am successful in life i am very good at studies or anything you desire your conscious mind will eventually open your brain and that information goes directly to your subconscious mind and you start acting accordingly first of all we have to calm our minds and then just as we see anything with our eyes similarly you have to close your eyes 
and see your goal in your imagination completely clear and exact we have to see the name in our minds here we share a real life example that will make you all clear nikola tesla used to first completely visualize any new innovation in his mind then he would 3d rotate his imagination to examine the details likewise you must create a clear visualization a picture is worth a thousand words as the saying goes that is an image that can be explained in a thousand words you will become the person you portray the mental movie method is most typically utilized in corporate sales let's look at how it's used we must first satisfy ourselves mentally and consider whether the price you set for your property is the optimum price for the buyer and after doing this calm your mind and relax for a while let all the problems go and bring yourself into a sleepy state that is you have to go to sleepy state and sleep state will reduce all your mental limitations you now visualize the property check and feel that check is in your hands feel happy in yourself and feel like you have got the money and now express gratitude for the check because a man who is thankful in his life gets more than that in his life and everything a guy does not appreciate will be taken away from him you now express your gratitude and leave it to the universe and whatever you imagine all night will be replayed in your subconscious mind only 10% of our lives are lived we don't even know what happened to the other 90% of life we must have realized many times that we keep speaking in our heads and are solely concerned with our inner world so did you live in the outside world perhaps not because we become locked in our head and think my life is bad but that is not the case when you concentrate on the inner world you experience inner feelings and when your focus is on outer world you will see the beauty of the outer world here is an example of a man who had tuberculosis and he cured it with just one affirmation that is i am perfect strong caring happy and complete in myself this affirmation proved to be a very strong for this man and he recovered completely friends there are still many secrets of this book to be revealed watch the video till the end without leaving it in half how do we achieve our goals in life consider yourself in a cab you keep asking the taxi driver to alter directions and the driver is completely perplexed by your selection will you make it to your destination perhaps not because you are unsure about where you want to go According to the author we should not employ will power but rather our creativity we must visualize the end result of your aim as far as you wish to go and when you visualize all possibilities open up for you you can do it even if you are unsure just keep what you are imagining in mind and do it every day because discipline forces you to act constantly the bible lights if people who are born on this earth learn to use both the conscious mind and the subconscious mind properly can get anything how to use your subconscious mind to become rich you cannot become rich just by saying i am rich i am the richest person in the world When you say this affirmation your focus is on becoming rich 
and you become conscious to attract wealth and this affirmation makes ideas in your mind this will give you new business plans and new ideas that can make you rich now we will look into why your affirmations are failing when people say i am the richest it appears that they are lying to themselves the author writes this is because a war between your conscious and subconscious minds begins so tell yourself every day i do my work very well every day and i am becoming richer by the day you will not feel like you are lying to yourself if you repeat this affirmation the more you focus on riches success and positive things the more positive things will multiply in your life our parents have told us murders happen for money son money is the root of the evil but that's not true always you can use money for good and for evil also it depends on you whether you use money for betterment of others or for crime don't misunderstand money for evil you think do you use electricity everybody will say does this even need to be asked i will explain to you with a simple example there is a woman who uses electricity for cooking so the electricity is beneficial to her and there is someone who uses electricity to kill people so did the electricity deteriorate perhaps not it is determined by how we use it electricity is completely neutral we either make it good or awful similarly we make money for good or negative reasons why are some people unable to increase their income because people regard themselves as employees and do not spend their money in new ventures as a result their income is set and they never acquire true wealth being successful in life allows you to live a life filled of truth peace and love every day we wake up excited and grateful for everything we have you have two eyes you have two legs given by god some people are not even that fortunate think how lucky you are life should be lived with exhilaration and you can do this by partnering the subconscious mind here the author has given three steps that can make you successful first step you should do what you like the most to do what you love to do unless you do and like a work with a pure heart you cannot consider yourself successful if you do your job with utmost dedication then you are moving towards success everyone loves his or her own job whether he or she is wealthy or successful even if they don't get paid for it they will do whatever they want second you must master one field and that should be a field in which you can meet people's demand you will not be able to achieve anything unless you become a master in one discipline third step this is the most essential step you must remember that the task you are doing is not solely about your success you cannot achieve if you become selfish you must also help others succeed only you will be successful your success should be a great contribution for humanity the author tells a story once a 16 year old boy came to me whose name was Todd and he asked me if i try to do something i fail at everything the child said i think i am stupid he thinks he should drop the school otherwise the school will kick him out the author said that he found one thing that was wrong with that child 
and that was his attitude he used to underestimate himself and so he began to feel that all the children were smarter than him the author showed him how to use his subconscious mind to improve his academic performance author taught him an affirmation that he had to repeat before going to bed and after waking up and had to do it all over again that assertion was my subconscious mind possesses extraordinary abilities and my subconscious mind serves as a repository for my memories everything i read and hear it fresh in my mind i have a fantastic memory if i want to i can use it my subconscious mind special abilities are preparing me for my test my teachers adore me and all of my students treat me with respect the author eventually received the child's email after a few months which said thank you so much dr joseph murphy now i top my class and everyone supports me talk to me nicely how scientists use the subconscious mind we all must have studied about chemical structure of benzene in chemistry but do you know how benzene was discovered there was a chemist called frederick had been trying to understand structure of benzene for a long time but he could not understand its structure he had very good knowledge of the subconscious mind so he started to send his message in his subconscious mind that he has got the chemical structure of benzene and all the chemists are congratulating him what happened after that while he was traveling by bus he saw a symbol that was of a snake and the snake was eating its own tail and then he understood that if we make such cyclic bonds in chemical bonds we will have benzene ring after that benzene ring was discovered you must have understood very well that your subconscious mind can give you ideas plans health wealth or success whatever you want for you we sleep for 8 hours per day which is one third of our life while we sleep our physical body is rest however the subconscious mind and its associated organs continue to function throughout the night our subconscious mind has the ability to heal any sickness swiftly at night because our conscious mind is not present at that time your conscious mind is involved in daily course from sunrise to night according to one survey humans have 60000 distinct ideas per day and this elicits a wide range of feelings when you pray you are connecting with your higher wisdom and you do the same thing when you sleep therefore prayer is similar to sleeping which is really beneficial to your life we have to remember that our daily habitual thinking is making our future and that is why we should listen to positive things we should read positive quotes and the neural pattern of this habitat thinking will start to form in your subconscious mind and you will start climbing the ladder of success with the powers of the subconscious mind we can also attract our perfect life partner in our life if we marry the wrong person it can be our biggest mistake do you want to have love in your life too do you expect your spouse to understand and fix all of your problems breaking up or patching up has become as natural as wearing and removing clothes first and foremost you should be clear about the type of person you seek what characteristics they should have 
only you will be able to attract your ideal spouse at that point use the power of your subconscious mind as soon as you acquire this clarity we can be very happy in our life with the support of our subconscious mind we first discuss the inner or outer worlds or the worlds within and without our mind this formula will fill your life with happiness when your focus is on thoughts going on in your mind you will feel what is going on in your mind for example if you are thinking my face is not beautiful and thinking that you are feeling very bad then your life worsens when you focus on good things then you will be happy and when your focus is on things that make you sad you will feel sad your subconscious mind is very sensitive and that's why negative things can make your relationships bitter with the help of the subconscious mind you can improve your relationships if you believe that others think well of you you should begin to think about others in the same way that you think about yourself if you want people to like you start treating them the same way you want to be treated if you want to be respected you must first respect others only then will others respect you if you want others to treat you kindly you should treat them nicely in return according to the author there was a man who used to read the newspaper every morning and every day his eyes were drawn to unpleasant headlines making him feel horrible right away few days later the man's health deteriorated and the doctor said all this is the result of your negative thinking so we should never read negative news or things sigmund freud the founder of psychoanalysis he said unless you have the ability to love you will remain sick and keep dying love means to understand others well to trust one another and to give respect the more you give love you will receive back way more than that the law of karma states the same thing whatever you give to the outside world will come back to you we must learn to forgive others if you desire a calm life you must learn to forgive your detractors because when you forgive someone your negative feelings attract positive energy and you will find peace let's look at an example from actual life john is the name of a person he used to commute to work every day and he asked to believe that people disliked him then by accident someone in his workplace showed him and one of the other guys accidentally split coffee on john from that point on john began to form a bad mental image of people but if he would have thought no problem man things happen that man did not notice so the coffee spilled so forgiving people like this gives you happiness and peace forgiving people for any sick person can act like a medicine you will wonder whom to forgive the author says first of all forgive yourself we create our own negative image in our mind and we feel bad with what and we feel bad with that negative image you can use affirmations to forgive people first and foremost relax your mind then say i forgive everyone with a calm mind and a good heart and the next time i will be nice to them those with whom i get along well get along well with me i am feeling much better now this affirmation will make you feel fantastic and you will achieve tranquilly 
हाउ आवर सब कॉन्शियस माइंड रिमूव कंसेप्चुअल ब्लॉकेज इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रेस्ट्रिक्शन वी कैन रियलाइज आवर मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल इफ वी लर्न टू फॉर्म न्यू हैबिट्स एंड अबंडन ओल्ड वंस वी विल फिगर आउट हाउ हैबिट्स फॉर्म एंड हाउ टू ब्रेक दैम इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ब्रेक ए नेगेटिव हैबिट यूज दिस फॉर्मूला क्यू रूटीन रिवॉर्ड क्यू मीन्स द ट्रिगर ऑफ एनी हैबिट विद दिस ट्रिगर यू डू वट यू आर यूज टू रूटीन इज वट वर्क वेन यू गेट ट्रिगर लेट्स टेक अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ मैन हु स्मोक सिगरेट सो फर्स्ट ही विल गेट अ ट्रिगर दैट ही नीड्स टू स्मोक नाउ ट्रिगर इज रिसीव्ड एट एनी स्पेसिफिक प्लेस and when you are alone or with friends so this is a routine that the man smokes cigarette then there is reward the man received a reward after smoking a cigarette a dose of nicotine is a treat for the male relaxing him and making him feel good for a short period of time we must avoid this circumstance and divert the thoughts how can we use the subconscious mind to overcome fear we are frequently terrified of something or other someone is terrified of dying someone is terrified of being abandoned by their relationship so let's break this down with a simple example a child was once playing near a swimming pool he then fell into the swimming pool while playing since then the youngster has been terrified of water then the little boy's mother introduced him to the author he said son calm your mind and take deep breath for a minute and pretend you are swimming while visualizing the child was a little scared however after two or three repetitions the toddler began to feel at ease The child then realized the water was too chilly. In the water his body has become exceedingly light. As a result the child's terror faded. He learned to swim in about 2 months. Similarly you can get rid of any fear. You will wonder how you may live your entire life in full spirit. your body ages but your soul never does your soul is your subconscious mind you can repeat this affirmation every day i am getting younger by the day my body is also receiving a lot of energy repeat this statement several times per day and the subconscious mind's power will make you even younger